Amiji. Yes, with Amiji. Okay. Thank you very much. Hi guys, welcome to video. Please subscribe. Thank you. This here is a three kilos beef, and we're going to make shami kebab out of this. So I'm gonna show you the process. I put the meat in the cooker right now to give it a boil and then uh, throw the water, replace it with a new one and boil it properly. So we just boil it once and throw the water and now we're going to boil it completely. Right now we are putting back our beef in the water to boil it fully but first we have to add some spices in it. So here are our spices, garlic and ginger. So I'm just gonna put I me. Mean, so I'm just gonna put it like that. Okay. Now this here is a garam masala. It's a mixed garam masala. It's not grind. We'll add onion, up like that. Great job. We need just about two tablespoons of cooking oil. Also, we put two tablespoons of salt, one teaspoon of um, turmeric, and one tablespoon of uh, chilies, chili powder. We add about six pieces of green chilies, the long ones. We're just gonna bring it to boil and then we're gonna cover the cooker and cook it for 40 minutes. So now it's boiling, we're going to cover. Okay, so we wait for 40 minutes. We just finished the 40 minutes and we're going to open it. Here are the ingredients that we need. Two and a half cup of chana dal. This one we have to wash it and soak it in the water. One half cup mashed garlic. Four tablespoon mashed ginger. One and a half tablespoon mashed green chilies. And for other spices, two tablespoon garam masala. One tablespoon red chili powder. 1 tablespoon dania powder, a pinch of turmeric, 1 tablespoon of black pepper, 2 tablespoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of salad masala, 2 tablespoons of suki dania, and 7 pieces of dried round chili. Also, two tablespoons of ground red chilies, the one which is in the middle. So this is our chana dal. It was soaked earlier. I drain out the water and we're going to add it up here. So we will add the garlic, the ginger, the chilies, the suki dania which we mashed. So all this we are going to add, yes. Yeah, 20 minutes for the Boiling. Ah, 20 minutes. Uh, and then we have to bring it to boil. We have to cover, Ami? So we're just gonna wait for it to boil and then we're going to cover it. And we will cook it under pressure cooker for 20 minutes. My Musa is with Mama right now and he is making a lot of noise. Say hi! Hi! Hi guys! These are the cooking. These are the cooking. <laughs> we are cooking, guys. We are cooking. Mama and BBG are cooking. 
Grammar's cooking in the fridge. Uh, Musa also. Musa also is cooking. Yes. Come on. I want let me hug. You want to hug? Okay. Hug me. Hug me. <laughs> okay. Put you down, no? Oh, you want me to hug you to put you down, no? You're a naughty boy. Wait. Again, you're climbing up. What do you want? Wait. Oh, a green ball. It's not. It's not a ball, Musa. It's a black pepper. <laughs> it's a peppercorn. Peppercorn? Yeah, they call it peppercorn. Peppercorn. Yes. Let me see the peppercorn. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see the peppercorn. So now it's boiling, guys. We are going to cover it up and on the top. We are going to boil this for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes is over. So this is our beef now guys. Now we're going to shred this. What we did is that we took out the meat because we're going to shred them and the remaining uh, spices inside we're still gonna boil it in a very low fire and once all the meats are shredded we're going to add so what are you making now oh, so we're just shredding the meat right now and we will add it up into the boiling uh, remaining spices in the inside of the first so you'll make the shami kebab With amiji. Yes, with amiji. Beef kebab. This will be beef shami kebab. So this is our meat now after shredding them. Just going to add it up slowly, slowly. the shami kebab and we are gonna be doing that for like 10 minutes ready so now it's ready we are going to transfer our shami kebab on this big plate here so that it will cool down faster we're just gonna let it sit for a while until it's a little bit you know it's not too hot like this right now and then uh, later on we're going to use the machine we're going to grind it to make it more um, you know finer we are going to grind the the beef with the spices the beef with the spices so of course we, we wash our hands before doing all this Guys, this one here is kofta, but I wasn't able to take a video on how we made it like yesterday. Um, so this is how it is. We make it like bowls. Like this is meatballs here in Pakistan. So they call it kofta. And then we put it in the freezer so it will become hard and we can pack it into like this. So that whenever we want to cook, then we can just take one packet. So I'm just gonna finish this and then we will start making the shami kebab. And my little Isa is so curious. What is this, Mama? This is ice, Isa. Hi. Now we are going to start molding our shami kebab or a Pakistani version of burger patties. I just wash my hands. Of course, before we start, we have to wash our hands. It's better to, to work with it, you know, with your bare hands. 
rather than wearing the gloves. So first on me. But I. By the way, this is the first time that I'm gonna be making this, guys. So I don't know. So I'm gonna have to ask my mother-in-law how to do it. So first, put oil on the palm. I will just go go like go as it. Then here is our meat. Chuk chuki gold, tiki bade, ija. Chuk chuk. Ha, chuk chuk. And then we. बस वो थोड़ी है छोटी है ओके एक मिनट इसकी साइज बराबर है इसको रखती जा अच्छा इसके अंदर ना ऐसे हाथ के साथ ना ओके we put under in it. So we just put under. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, I see. I see. And then we. Okay. Hmm. Hello. Hi, Shabazz, can you do one thing on me? Can you slice uh, at least three pieces or four pieces of plastic so I don't need to do it? Okay, is it done? This is the last, and we are going to put our. So now it's done. We are going to put it in the freezer so that it would be easy for us to repack it. Like, I think we're going to put how many pieces per pack, Ami? We're going to put like six, six pieces per packet. So we're we'll just gonna do that tomorrow. For today, we are going to put it for, uh, to so freeze here it. Is our yeah. kebab now. Yeah. 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 Ma. Ma. So these are the kebabs that uh, chapli kebab, na? Shami kebab. Aisa. So these are the shami kebabs that we made, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packets. Plus, we have another one here, which is so nine packets totally. Guys, eto hinanapan ko na mashala. Mashala, we have a very uh, blessed <laughs> ref because it's full. Uh, we have the meatballs. We have this like this is we have the sliced beef. We have the ground beef. We have chicken down here. And there inside we have lamb meat. On this side we put some halak or spinach.
one burger, right? What is finish you said? Yeah, red bean. Red bean? Yeah. Do we have red bean in? You're crazy. You're thinking about the red bean and everything. That was like four days ago. It's already disposed. I'm just going to cook four. Two for him. looks like burnt <laughs> but you know I like to eat it well done <laughs> yeah because this is made of meat so it's really like that we just want to make the bread a little bit warm because it came from our ref so it's cold We don't have a bread slicer. A little bit crab there, but it's okay. Thank you very much. What did you say? Thank you very much. I don't want to put. So I'm not going to make a burger for mine, guys. I'm just gonna eat it as it is. And I'm gonna eat it with tomato ketchup, not the spicy one. Is it nice show? Mm. With onions and this and that? Yeah. Really? I feel like I want to eat also, but... <laughs> Can I just bite with onion? You know, I don't eat onion. Then don't bite. Give me that. <laughs> also bad. Mm. It's nice. So... So anyway guys, I ate my burger patty. Um, I just decided to share this recipe to you because maybe you'd like to try it as well because it's really good. Um, I know that we have different kind of spices depending on you know the places that we live in. So here in Pakistan, I have shared the spices that we are using in making this uh, burger patty you can use your own spices but you know you just need to follow the procedure and how we do it I think that the chana dal is very important because um, it's gonna make it easy for you to mold the patties so yeah that is very important don't skip that so anyway that's all for this vlog guys I hope that you learned something new today and 
If you're new to my channel, I just want to remind you that please do not forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell as well so you will always be updated every time I post new videos. So thank you so much everyone for watching and I'll see you on my next vlog.